told them I'm back on my grind, grind. I told them I'm back on the shine, shine. I told all my niggas we getting and getting it, never gon' fuck up behind Yeah, son, count, count, count up, count up. Only niggas I trust, and that is a must Hey yo, my dark knights, my dames, everyone else who happens to pop into these videos. We happen to have a reaction video. We do these here and there sometimes, you know, when we get videos sent to us or we get stuff sent to us. So what we got right now. And we also have my bro, Dequo, and mom in here, you know, back in days from when we did Killer Mondays and whatnot, all up in the videos. But my cousin wanted them to be in the video, so we're all here to react. This is uh, when Asuma got knocked off the map by Hidan and Kakuzu in front of Shik Shikamaru. And it's by the uh, YouTuber uh, Kage the Don. Okay, so here he is right here. You know, um, is the video will be in the, the description English. Anyway, we'll get on with this and hope you guys are having a great day and staying positive and drinking lots of water. Okay, so boom! The scene kicks off where he done sitting on some steps waiting for Kakazu to come back with their cash. The two of them are fresh off of packing up this Vin Diesel looking monk who had a bounty on his head. I know that bounty was fat too. People sure would pay a lot of money to get a glimpse of their future in that crystal ball, cue ball, shiny head of his. Head so bald you just want to hit him with that Michael Jordan. As he done continues to wait patiently on the stairs, he hears the footsteps of someone behind him. So naturally, he assumes that the footsteps are Kakazu. But once he fully rotates to see who it is, we see the man of the hour, Asuma, posed up behind him. And he's not here to play no games either. My man, Asuma. You know, like, there's a, there's a lot, there's a lot of these videos, of, of these kind, these kind of set of videos out. And you're just, <laughs> you're watching this tree. <laughs> Yo, man, like, like, I, but, but this, my, though. <laughs> my personal thing is, like, if it was any of Shippuden fight. Like, Speak a little louder, nigga. If it was any other Shippuden fight, is what I'm trying to say. Like, come on now. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> any other Shippuden fight, you know. But like, but my my thing is like, there's there's so many of these, and yeah, there would be there would be better. But like, we got okay, we got we got some we got some minutes into this, so anything you got to say, ma? <laughs> mm -mm. <laughs> okay, check it in a sec. Asuma is ready to get to work immediately. He quickly throws three shurikens, but Hidan manages to block them with his sight just in time. He then tries to throw his sight at Asuma, but before it could reach him, my boy Shikamaru pulls up and hits him with that infamous shadow possession jutsu. Hidan, now confused as to why he can't move, tries to get a glimpse of what's keeping him in place. But Asuma's squad was trying to get that KO in record time, so Izumo and Kotetsu charge in and pierce Hidan with these long blades from both directions. Now, after seeing Hidan get turned into a meat Kebab, awesome. When did they get involved? Two so guys we ain't never seen involved in any battle before. The first time they ever get in ba battle, they fucking weak asses. They do, they do shit. <laughs> what you gonna do, bro? A filler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's where they came from, filler, ma. Yeah, they were just like you know back. They down. they hold up the they hold up the freaking. Gates. They at the gates usually. They be like, okay, you got tickets to come in? Okay, I got tickets to come in. You got tickets to leave. They ain't never in real battle. Like, would you ever see them in a battle? They Here? never shine. The one time they supposed to shine and they don't really shine. Yeah, that happened. So... <laughs> And Shikamaru are already ready to celebrate. This man Shikamaru over here <laughs> grinning, probably happy as hell his lazy ass gets to clock out early. And Asuma's over here talking about some that's one of them down. What? Nigga, let the body drop first? Like, damn. I can't stand when a kill gets claimed too early. Niggas will shoot their opponent once talking about some, we got him. Oh, nah, if you don't go ahead and empty that clip. After piercing Hidan with two blades, all four members of Asuma's squad stand there waiting for him to drop. But after letting Kotetsu sniff his musty armpits for a few more seconds. This man he done in the most casual, nonchalant voice says, Ow, oh, that hurts. Who are, are you people? people? Quit sticking it in like that. First of all, Don't pause. Pulse. Second of all, how is this man still alive? But he got two thick ass sores poking out his chest and back, and he's over here speaking perfectly without even a little stutter. Yeah, go ahead and pack up, y'all. This one's not even worth it. Now they're just standing there, face to face, chopping it up until he done. Quite frankly, like. At the point of like you know him him saying that shit and then looking looking at you, I I I for one 
as a ninja that has my sword shoved into his back or his gut, I wouldn't be standing there anymore. But I'm back. Mom, just abandon your sword and just run. They can't hear you. <laughs> You're like, mm-mm, mm-mm. Hilarious. Let's see here. There we go. That should be better for everybody. But now, nah, let's, uh, let, let's, see, let's see this. Hidon notices the symbol around Asuma's waist. Hidon then puts two and two together and realizes that Asuma is also a part of the same Guardian Ninja Collective that Vin Diesel was under. So now, like the money hungry demon he is, he plans on collecting the bounty that's on Asuma's head too. Asuma then proceeds to go on a yapathon, basically sharing the whole plan, talking about some. We are Shinobi of the Leaf Village. village. Our, Our orders are to capture or eliminate you, Akatsuki. My, My original idea, idea was, was to take down one of you first, then capture. Oh, shut up, nigga. Hey. My brother, why are you shut up nigga <laughs> oh nothing <laughs> more annoying than when they explain before they actually do what they're doing yeah no juice is real in this show yep 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 that's it's 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 good it's good times you know didn't you know like just to talk it out talking it out is Explain everything. By the time you done talk, I'm already lost interest. You see, just lost interest. <laughs> oh man, that's just too much. Too much. You spilling the beans to this man. What do you gain from this? You are literally giving his partner more time to come and join the fight. And funny enough, guess what happens next? Kakazu comes flying out of nowhere with his fist cocked back, ready to punch the ponytail out of Shikamaru's head. Shikamaru manages to evade the attack, but this move of evasion also released Hidon from his grasp. Kakazu continues to chase Shikamaru, but Asuma quickly jumps in front of Kakazu while the other two retreat from Hidon. Now they're all back to back, ready to plot their next move. Now you think with Kakazu in the mix now. Hidon would work with them to wrap up this fight quickly and go cash in the check, but that was not the case. Instead, Hidon's talking about some Kakazu, just stay out of this, all right? I want these three for my ritual. The Akatsuki. That's the biggest issue with every Akatsuki member. They're in it for themselves, they're villains, and they don't give a fuck about teamwork. Nine times out of ten, they could have decimated half more of the shit they could have done, but what? No teamwork. No, no. That's, how, this is how, that's just how the trope is. The good guys, they have teamwork. The bad guys, they say, hey, we OP, but stay out my way. I'm going to do it myself. That's how it is. How it is being bad. You just do things on your own. You did it from on your own from the beginning. I don't need nobody now. Yeah, that's ridiculous. That's just ridiculous. <laughs> ah. You can have them after. I beg, I beg your, your pardon? pardon? The you mean you can have them after shikamaru you gonna let him talk to you like this he just said he's trying to pass y'all around like an industry bop you can have them after nigga i'm not ruby rose kakazu ultimately backs down allowing hedon to take the 1v4 but that is when we see this nigga hedon drawing this devilish looking symbol with his own blood on the ground now i admit i was too distracted by the second half of hedon's monologue but if we take it back a little bit we can hear this demon say i want these three for my ritual you what, what? What? what ritual is homeboy talking about? This plus that blood symbol you drew on the ground was already enough to qualify you for a prayer and a complimentary exorcism. But if you don't want to take my word for it, take Shikamaru's. After watching him draw that symbol with the blood on the ground, Shikamaru quickly bowed his head and started saying a prayer. I'm not lying. If you don't believe me, go check it out for yourself. This is him speaking right now. After praying and strategizing for a bit longer, Hidon finally cuts them off and pulls the two swords out of his body. Then, to my surprise, he says, The God shall punish those who don't understand the pain of others bro which god are you talking about see you gotta be careful with people like this i had a friend yeah <laughs> like that, that, that was that was <laughs> that was good yeah, but okay. <laughs> gotta be careful you know yeah like who knows who he's talking about what he's talking about homie's gone gone loopy lay but Yo, like I said, I wouldn't be there while he's drawing that circle. I wouldn't have been there for him to even start it. <laughs> it's like I wouldn't even have been there for him to start it. Yeah, yeah, that's 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 just what I'm saying. In case in case the case where you are a ninja and you know I I'm background ninja, gate ninja. Uh uh, 
I I now I'll stay. Like I haven't done enough training to be known. Never mind, I haven't lived long enough. <laughs> I haven't lived long enough. So no, I'm just like no, 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 no. Pray that his enemy's house blows up into pieces. Come to find out his op lives with his innocent granny and her three puppies. I don't think God's gonna fulfill that prayer. After staring at each other for a bit longer, Asuma makes the first move and charges at Hidon. So Hidon rushes towards him too. They both collide, but Asuma manages to cut Hidon's blade in half with his. Before Hidon could even realize his blade's been cut, Shikamaru guns at him with his shadow stitches. So Hidon quickly jumps out the way. While in the air, he throws his broken blade at Asuma, which he blocks with ease. Then he sends his sight at his head. But Asuma weaves that move with zero difficulty. Hidon then digs the scythe into the ground and uses it to drag him away from Shikamaru's shadow stitches. So Asuma proceeds to charge at him again. But this time, Hidon tries to catch him off guard by jumping in the air to get him from above. But Asuma was able to adjust and block the blow just in time. Shikamaru continues to try and catch him with his shadow stitches, but Hidon's just too fast. Eventually, Hidon gets tired of playing this cat and mouse game, so he throws his scythe at Shikamaru. But Asuma steps in front and proceeds to hit this holy woe real quick. And now the ghost of Vin Diesel is right beside him. All of a sudden, this angelic music starts to Damn play. Damn it, man. Like, the ghost of Vin Diesel standing right. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, Kaden. And yep. who's that? The mother of who? The, oh, Lord. This is, this is just something. This is just something. And this golden 20-handed goddess appears behind him. Now, the first time I seen this, I genuinely thought Hidon was cooked. Look at this heavenly looking jutsu. You cannot tell me he's not about to punch the soul out of his chest with all 20 arms. But instead... I ain't gonna lie, I thought the exact same thing. Like, we, we, when we, I first saw that... I thought the exact same thing. I thought he gonna get cooked. We are like, uh, yeah, Arsenal's gonna be cooking. Let's go. No. No. Not a chance. Don't you see that man is evil? <laughs> the hell? <laughs> he used your blood to crucify you. That's Come horrible. on now. Horrible. This is horrible. And all this man does is stiff arm the sight and tickle this man's titty. Bro, Are don't piss me off. Right this clickbait ass jutsu. You couldn't even make heat on touch the ground. Then to make things worse, he has the audacity to hit us with his little <laughs> smirk like he did something. Asuma, quit playing and lock the f in. Asuma then throws three shurikens at him, so Hidon jumps out the way. Now, as sorry as these shuriken throws might have seemed, that was all according to plan. Because as soon as he jumped, Shikamaru quickly sent his shadow stitches at him, but they missed him by just a hair. Hidon then tries to slice Asuma in half, but Asuma manages to hit the most elegant backflip over the blades. Hidon continues to run from the stitches, but finally Asuma, Izumo, and Kotetsu got this man cornered. So at the same time, they all throw- Y'all continue to watch. I gotta go get my bread. Be right back bunch of shurikens at him. Now, during the last five minutes of this fight, Hidon must have forgot he was immortal, because instead of dodging the shurikens like he's been doing, he lets all the shurikens pierce his body, then continues to charge at Shikamaru. Asuma's not letting him get a hand on his shogi partner, so he decides to chase down Hidon. So he turns around and throws a kunai at Asuma, which he blocks, but then Hidon hits that same backflip Gravanta Davis does after every knock, just up there levitate, stunning on his opponent. Then he throws his sight at Asuma. He blocks the sight, but not before getting pierced by the tip of one of his blades. Now, normally a little scratch like this wouldn't be a cause for concern, but judging by the look on Asuma's face, I can tell that something is very wrong. Hidon begins to retract his sight. Then he starts sticking that tongue out, trying to show us what that mouth is. Asuma, thinking he has Hidon right where he wants him, decides to boot up his burning ass juice. And now the air is filled with ash from his nasty ass cigarette filled tar black lungs. Lungs probably out here looking the same color as Hidon's soul. As the air continues to fill with ash, Hidon licks the tip of the blade, walks into to the blood circle he drew at the beginning of the fight and then we see his skin color change Asuma's ready to wrap this up so he bites down on the ash and causes a huge explosion sending heat on back to the depths of hell that he came from hey man won't he do it hallelujah or at least that's what i wanted to happen because after all the smoke from the explosion fades we see this demon crouch down in his blood circle talking about some hurts doesn't it and that is when we see Asuma covered in burns as if he was the one like what a move though like and got it just in time so that that's the case where like you know if, if all these akatsuki members you know would just go all together and <sighs> no, do it was just crazy because like and you gotta think like these are ninjas how is it you as a ninja you gonna go up and and the worst part is you guys weren't prepared because you knew nothing about your character 
You knew nothing about these guys you're going up against. How you ninjas and have no intel on your enemy. And then, and then like, okay, so now we know his jutsu somehow does some kind of counterback. <laughs> and y'all just couldn't, you guys. Storytelling. Yeah. Gotta be able to tell the story. <laughs> Gotta gotta hold 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 the Some people. Of these stories don't make sense though. How did nobody know anything about these two guys? Like they're the immortal. How did nobody know? Because yeah. they're immortal. Everybody else is dead. Nobody knew. Nobody <laughs> Everybody knew. who knows about them are dead. <laughs> that's how. Well, that's what's fucked up because no people knew about them. And <laughs> when you see people in the war, then you see people later on. You see these filler guys, and it's like, oh, we this guy. This, like, how did how was there intel about these guys? And nobody, nobody knew. from belief knew about these guys. Horrible work. That's a horrible... The Intel people weren't doing their job. That's how. <laughs> One in the explosion. Everyone staring at the two of them confused as to what they just witnessed. But before they could even make a hypothesis, he done screams out, Let's, Let's experience, experience this ultimate, ultimate thing together, together, shall we? And then he whips out this giant raw. Asuma assumes that he whipped out the raw to use on him. So he takes out a weapon of his own and sprints towards Hida. But unfortunately, he misread the situation because that rod wasn't for him. It was... Well, too late if you didn't understand. You got burnt, my nigga. What the fuck? It's too late. Like, you gotta done. get there faster. You should have already been there before. First of all, like, and that's the thing. Shikamaru's supposed to be the smartest. And yes, it shows how smart and how good he is. Because he was able to freaking, you know, counteract and come back a couple, couple episodes later where he, you know, was able to defeat him. But, like, the next one we may just also react to. Who knows? Yeah, well, frick. <laughs> But as for this one, we're gonna have to continue and finish up. That's because we still got like ten minutes. That's and I and yeah, yeah, yeah. It was for he? Yes. Say it again. I said ten minutes too long to last on these idiots. <laughs> See, this is mom. You got y'all know mom. She it probably shows. The she thing. she don't say nothing but the truth of what she feels. Jamaican, you know that's how it is. <laughs> Edon then proceeds to stab his own leg without flinching. And at the same moment of contact, Asuma's legs give out, then he proceeds to kiss the ground. Now Edon's really having fun. This psychopath is over there yelling at Asuma's body, talking about some hurts, huh? While laughing hysterically. <laughs> Bro, listen to this man's laugh. If you ever hear someone laugh like this, please proceed with caution. Cause I promise you, they got a couple screws loose. Now Izumo, Kotetsu, and Shikamaru are watching Asuma's leg bleed out while trying to figure out how he's doing this. Eventually, all four of them are able to figure out that Asuma and Hidon's body are somehow linked. Hidon points the rod right at his chest, then attempts to drive it through his heart. By the look on Asuma's face, you could tell his life was flashing before his eyes. He was completely helpless. But right before Hidon could pierce his chest, Shikamaru manages to get off his shadow strangle jutsu in time, stopping Hidon from completing the devastating blow. Ooh, y'all had me sweating like I was there. We all know he should have known to do that from the well beginning. Should have known to get him out of the circle or something like that. Cause brush you know, up the circle, like do something. Y'all just standing there, you. like you're they're all just you. standing there you watching. The you should know this. Like yeah, no, but no storytelling. What it is? What it is? A horrible storytelling. <laughs> but you gotta sell the sell the story, the episodes. Gotta get it all out. <laughs> uh. Look at these niggas sweating buckets stressed as hell. I know their hearts are beating at 150 beats per minute. Shikamaru's now over there using every atom in his body to keep his hold on Edom. And now they're just in a stalemate. Nobody seems to be able to come up with any ideas. That is until Kakazu provides them with a little motivation by offering heat on his help. When I seen this man step up to bat, I began pleading on their behalf like my life was on the line. If they're already getting cooked in a 1v4, imagine if it's a 2v4. They'd be finished. And I'm not even hating, they know it too. Look at their reaction when he attempted to join the fight. They do not want smoke. Thankfully, Hidon's overconfident self tells him to back his ugly ass up and let him handle it. Shikamaru then really starts to get in his bag and brainstorm a bit more, and after closely analyzing all of Hidon's previous moves, he finally knows how to stop him. He quickly puts his plan into action and begins to shuffle Hidon's feet out of the circle. After a bit of a struggle, he finally manages to get him out. So Asuma wastes no 
whole time testing if he's still linked to Hedon by slicing his ear open with a shuriken. And once Asuma felt that he wasn't affected by the slice, Shikamaru uses his shadow stitches to restrain him. Asuma then gets up and begins to hobble. <laughs> that's no, dumb. That's, let's not get rid of the circle at all. Let's just get about the circle. Right? Let's not get rid of it. Let's not use my fit foot and brush that circle so I can make sure that we can destroy that circle because clearly... But also writing because how he shimmied out the circle, it really should have well, destroyed no, it. it. Was, it was made with his blood, right? And there was, but but the say of the case of the, you still got wet blood on your on your feet, and even coming out, it would dis, it would disrupt. I know the whole so, plot. The whole, um, make, <laughs> the whole plot is faulty. But let's just say, it, it, for, for instance, before, it was before gonna he goes charging at him, he should have at least done something to that. No, nah, Shikamaru, the only no, because if before he could get to the circle. I'm sure the same thing would have Like, you see how much, you see how much blood, you see how that circle is? That's so much blood, okay? That's like, you didn't have that, nigga, you didn't have that much blood on well, yeah, the bottom of your I'm, I don't give a fuck, okay? I know. That's Plot. dirt. Plot. That is don't dirt. That dirt. Much, that dirt. Much no. blood. <laughs> I know, we can't that say, much we can't blood be logically trying to dissect That much blood on your body, you might as well be in a hospital. You will make your head explode. Trying to, trying to. Dissect the whole storyline. No, I'm, I'm just, just saying, like, uh, yo. No, just ah, uh, man. Okay, okay is broke himself over to eat him. Nigga was taking forever, but he hit the Terry Fox jog all the way to him. But as much as I applaud Asuma for his determination, I couldn't help but get upset at the fact that these bums are just standing there watching him slowly walk to him. Nigga, if you don't... That's what I said. They're all just... Well, Shikamaru is kind of busy. But the other two are just fucking standing there. The other two are like, well, we yeah, gotta make sure... Us. Well, you know... But he could come at us at any moment. He uh, was told not to, as you saw the whole time. He's been standing there, not yeah, helping. Yeah, but he—they didn't know. They didn't know. They were too. They, that's too the thing. bitch you know? ass. They were too unexperienced and too fearful of their life to do anything. Then you shouldn't be that's there. Why, that's why it was more like a two. It was more like a two on one. You shouldn't be there you if you're too two afraid extras. of your life. Man. If they had two other people who weren't extras, it wouldn't have gone down the way it did. Nonsense, just nonsense. Maybe he wouldn't have lost his life then. Nah, uh, who knows. They still didn't know the techniques. Nah, he still would have lost his life. They in the still don't know he no techniques. Yeah, he, he had to die. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> These writers, I tell you. <laughs> run over there and end him. What have y'all done all fight except throw some shurikens? Uniforms in pristine condition, not a single speck of dust on it. I even tried to put some respect on y'all names by actually using your names to begin with. But let's be real. There's not one person on earth who would respond to the question, who's your favorite Naruto character? With an answer of, yeah, mine is Izumo, he's rad. What? And that guy Kotetsu, they're just both pretty cool. The way they just, nigga, no. The way they <laughs> Nigga, no! They just what? Stand oh. there. Yeah, exactly. Oh, man. After taking 40 years to get to Hida, Asuma wastes no more time and slices his head clean off. And that is when everyone begins to let their guard down. As to why they feel so comfortable with Kakazu eyeing them down from the sidelines is beyond me, but a win is a win, I guess. I would have been slightly more amped for this small victory if it weren't for Tweedle D over here talking about some. We did it! We did it! We did it! We? We who? We who? <laughs> We who? Nobody did nothing yet. It was a two on one. You two just stood there. We did it. <laughs> yes. No. no. Just horrible. We. You know what? You're not even worth the roast. The joy from the small win eventually fades and they collectively refocus their attention on their next target. But the little momentum and confidence they had left was quickly destroyed when Kakazu said, if you wanted my help, Hidan, you should have asked sooner. Then we see this man, Hidan, fully conscious, yelling loud as hell as if his head isn't completely severed from his body. Now, the two of them are just casually having a conversation while the others watch. Yeah, this is the thing, because, you know, they, they stabbed him clean through and through. That kind of stab, it would, would kill, it would, it, it would get your heart. It, it should it, kill you, but it didn't kill him. And it would get your lungs, too. Your intestine. That didn't like, kill him. That was before they connected. He connected with... That was and well after, before. And then after he connected, then all of a sudden... His, his and then he also goes stabs himself. Him. And then he also goes to be stabbing himself. So what like, makes you think that chopping it... Because like, usually, even, even, you know, 
zombie movies. That I was just about to go about that, you know. Get rid I, of can, the head. I can understand if you're thinking zombie logic, but this ain't zombie logic. <laughs> it kind of looks like a zombie, so I can understand. No! No, this, it's, it's, it's voodoo fucking witchcraft. That, that's, that's, why what it like. that's why it's not zombie logic. That's what it looked like. It looked like voodoo witchcraft. That's exactly what it is. That's why you can't go with, yeah, you gotta go up burning the body. Ashes. And even that will help them. I'm sorry. Well, I'm sorry. Ashes. I well. Some of those okay, maybe not. Nine times out of ten, that's usually where I would consider and my head maybe to go not. To. I no, would probably do because the same I don't thing. need them ashes going up my nose and then that Gotta take over your. Yeah. Mind. So Ooh. never mind. Best logic is just to cut them up and bury them deep, deep, deep. Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. You. Yeah. Mm, uh, mm. <laughs> Edon's basically begging Kakazu to reconnect his head to his body, and eventually Kakazu gives in. He practically teleports over to Edon, then grips the top of his head like he's about to roll the nastiest strike I've ever seen. But as shocked as they all are, they still think they have the upper hand. Shikamaru determines that as long as Edon's body is still separated from his head, they should be good. Now, they're all plotting on a way to escape, considering the fact that Asuma looks like he just got out of a car crash, and Shikamaru can barely stand. Look at him, coughing up a storm, that secondhand smoke from all them shogi games with Asuma Asuma is finally kicking in. All four of them continue to strategize until Kakazu's finally had enough. Mid brainstorm, he teleports to Asuma and hits him with the same lethal leg kick they hit Jaden Smith with in Karate Kid. Then he decks the cigarette fumes out of his skull with that deal or no deal ass briefcase. Asuma is clearly unable to defend himself at this point, so you'd think he'd leave him alone after those first two hits. But Kakazu does not play with his food. 35 mil is on the line, so he's not messing around. He jumps 10 feet in the air then proceeds to drop his knee into Asuma's spine and now Asuma's just laid out on the ground yeah boys remember he had he there's there's hits on just about every 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 good ninja and shit out there on certain books so Kakuzu needed his money they needed their money Kakuzu's a badass <laughs> nah he, he could there should have been somebody him. more experienced out there with him well He's, he's, Everybody was busy. <laughs> Tough luck for him then. <laughs> with 12 crushed vertebrae and a leaking leg. you think this would be the time for the two no-names to jump in and help, but nope. They just watch this man Asuma get abused. Kakazu then walks over to Hidon's body, stitches his head on, then returns his attention to Shikamaru and the no-names. I promise you, if Shikamaru was in any condition to fight, they would have let that nigga handle it. But both of the all-stars are out for the count, so they have no choice but to let the bench players in. Kotetsu kicks off their showdown by summoning this ugly-ass weapon. Then they both begin to charge at Kakazu. Izumo quickly activates his water style syrup trap jutsu, so Kakazu jumps out the way to evade it. Kotetsu tries to catch him off guard and throws his Pokemon looking weapon at him, so Kakazu tries to catch it but it weaves all of his attempts and crashes into the ground. The two simpletons really thought they got him with that elementary combo, but when the dust cleared I was not surprised at all to see Kakazu standing there staring at them unharmed. Kakazu then raises his hand to- Two simpletons? Like look at them like, yeah we did it guys. Yes. <laughs> No, so man. Stupid. Horrible. Deliver the final blow, but all of a sudden, Kotetsu's knockoff Pokemon comes flying out the ground behind him. He jumps to catch it, ready to smash him for real this time. So Kakazu tries to jump out the way, but to his surprise, his feet are trapped by Uzumo's syrup. Okay, no names, I was not familiar with your game. This how you cook right here. I'm still not letting y'all slide though. Niggas wanna wait until the last minute to show out while Asuma's already in the waiting room to meet Jesus? Nah, fk out of you. Kotetsu goes in for the final blow, but Kakazu somehow. <laughs> Already in the waiting room to meet Jesus. Yeah, yeah. And these two. Now we can do something. No, no. Come on. Unstitches his hands and launches them at his neck. Izumo tries to fight off the second hand, slicing and dicing his way through Kakazu's symbiote, but inevitably the hand catches him, and now they're both getting the oxygen squeezed out of them. Now that there's no one left to intervene, he done walks over to Asuma, ready to blow his candle out. He raises his rod and proceeds to utter his corny villain one liner, but right before he could throw the rod, Asuma wakes up like the Undertaker and tries to slice Hidon's face off. Within a split second, Hidon manages to throw the rod, but the 
rod only goes through his shoulder, which wasn't enough to finish him. So he whips out his sight and swings it right to the back of Asuma's head. Shikamaru yells at Asuma to watch out for the sight, but then we hear the sound of a blade piercing skin while blood splashes in the air. Now my original guess was that Asuma was finished. That sight clearly took his head clean off like he did to Hidon. A head for a head. A 69 if you will, but thankfully I was wrong. The camera pans down to Asuma and he still got his head on tight. It turns out he ducked right on time. And now the sight is inches deep into Hidon's stomach. Asuma for a brief moment. But, but, where is our boy Hidon? Where is he standing? In, in the damn circle. Yeah, any money, because he looks pretty happy about it. Right? <laughs> Moment is very proud of himself for dodging that blow. Until mid-sentence, he realizes what just happened. Hedon <laughs> then starts laughing hysterically. <laughs> and that is when we see that this nigga is standing in the demon circle. I wanted to be mad at Asuma so bad, but this was honestly just a well-thought-out attack. Nigga had him beat from every angle. It was either this or the side carving out his head like a pumpkin. But he really had him in checkmate. Asuma, now in severe pain, grabs his stomach and starts coughing up <laughs> It didn't have to be checkmate. That's why you get rid of the fucking circle in the first place. You knew what was going on. You saw what was happening. Shikamaru, you supposed to be the smartest motherfucking IQ of a fucking who knows what. Of a who knows what. <laughs> what would you do? You let your fucking sensei die in front of your face. And your sensei supposed to be the fucking what? Son of the third. What? 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 Whoa, 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 what? <laughs> he didn't even have one unique thing about this man. He had smoke. He literally. This most unique thing hey, he Bobby. did. He played shogi. Not the greatest because I'm freaking. Well, how old was he? Like 14 at the time. Could beat him. <laughs> we, st we still got four minutes. Let's get uh, two minutes. Let's let's get this done. Let's get this done. And that's when Shikamaru gathers the little strength he has left, gets up, and starts running towards Asuma. That boy was running with Division 1 track type form, arms swinging hard as hell. But the run ends prematurely when this man falls by tripping over a rock. Kishimo, I know you didn't just let a rock take this nigga down while his sensei is about to get packed up. This tiny ass rock, that should have caused a stumble at best. But a whole face plant? Shikamaru, you were carrying the whole first half of this fight, but you're low-key sorry for this. Now he done's just playing with Asuma, making him feel pain for his own pleasure. He's even jiggling the blade inside his stomach, just straight foul. He finally gets done toying with Asuma, so he raises his rock. And with no one left to intervene, he sucks successfully drive the rod through his heart and this is when we see our beloved Asuma collapse to the ground now as much as I wish this wasn't the actual final blow all of the signs were there the classic triple instant replay the birds flying away and finally a loved one getting a sense that something is wrong I don't know what it is but when someone special leaves this earth niggas just somehow managed to know right when it happened her coochie must have started tingling or something because she immediately looks up and calls out Asuma's name but what made it even worse was the fact that his death was used to pleasure this sadistic kinky psychopath watching your sensei's death be used as some form of a drug has to be a different type of trauma but with a sorry squad like this and 35 mil on his head this was your only fate even dr strange couldn't find another reality where this wasn't the outcome brother you were cooked from the jump and the worst part is asuma couldn't even dr strange i'm sorry homie we did our best <laughs> should have had another crew that's 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 all of that. That was that was pretty interesting, you know. Mm. Yeah. How how it be? How how you feel about it, ma? Mm. Mm, say hi to Ethan. Tell him thank you. Thank no, you no, thank you for what? For what? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Tell for what? Bruh, I know exactly Whiskey. why. I know Whiskey. exactly Whiskey. why you wanted to watch watch, watch this one because it's your two favorite guys. Listen here, right? Listen here, right? Listen here. <laughs> they didn't they didn't even in my top five. I, maybe maybe uh, top ten. I'd, I'd give them top ten for sure. I give them top ten for sure. But top five out of all the villains, like Listen, so. So this if boy you, wastes my time. If you guys need some context, my uh, my my thumbnail editor for uh, Fighter Z, like the one who makes the the what the. Dramatic finish uh, thumbnails, the ones, all that, like certain ones that I get them to make. That that's who sends me these to to like react to. And Hidon and is, is Hidon and Kakuzu be his favorite characters. Like do this one. Yo, like, Kakuzu is dope. I'm Don't get like, me wrong, Hidon's shit. <laughs> 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 like, <laughs> 
Oh man, but I hope you guys enjoyed. You guys enjoyed everybody here. All the laughs, all the good Peace. stuff. Make sure to go sub to the Kage the Don, you know. He, he has, this video will be in the description, okay? You guys have a great day. Stay positive, stay well. Drink lots of water. And your Dark Lord will check you in the next video. Everybody else will see you when they see you. In the comments, probably. Mwah. Peace out. Bye! Back in the battle, we hit in the lab. All of my niggas, we came up with jam. Tell all my niggas, we came in a bow. And other niggas, we never gonna pop. Who's the nigga with the stomach out? We the niggas they gon' talk about. Fattest bitches, they don't run their mouth.